Hello friends, welcome to my channel Rex Rahul. If you want to create an executable jar of your Gradle project which is ready to run, then you are at the right place. In this video, we will learn about creating a fat jar using Gradle. Fat jar is also known as an executable jar which has all the dependencies required to run it. So let's get started. There can be various ways to create a fat jar like using Gradle's jar task and using shadow jar plugin. This video will cover the Gradle's jar task method. Gradle has a jar task which creates a non-executable jar file which can't run due to some problems. First, if you try to execute your jar file, it won't run as it doesn't know about how to run or which class file to run. Another problem is when you extract the jar file, explore the contents of the jar. You won't find any dependencies of your project which is required to run that jar. So if we solve these two problems, we will be able to create an executable jar file. Consider this simple Java project having only main class which creates a person object and prints that object in JSON format in the console. There are two ways to write Gradle script file. First, you can use Groovy and second, you can use Kotlin. In this project, I am using Groovy to write the build.gradle file. I will also show you the method for Kotlin Gradle script. So to solve the first problem of no main manifest attribute where jar doesn't know about project's main class, go to your build.gradle file. Inside the jar task, add manifest information of your main class like this. If you don't have a jar task, simply add it you will have to give the fully qualified name of the main class here. Now generate a new jar using Gradle build. Try to run that jar. Now if your project doesn't have any external dependency then your jar file will run but if your project has some external dependencies then it may complain for not having those jar file and throw no class definition found error. So to add dependencies in your jar file, go to your build.gradle's jar task and add this piece of code to collect all the runtime class part dependencies and add in the jar file. After this, again run gradle build to create a new jar file and try to run it. It should run successfully. Similarly, if you have Gradle script written in Kotlin, then you will have to modify the jar task using Kotlin like this. Your jar file should run. That's all for this video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel Rex Rahul.